Baby, lay on back and relax. Kick your pretty feet up on my dash. No need to go nowhere fast. Let's enjoy right here where we at. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be. Baby, just let it be. Hey, my loves. How are you all doing? I hope you're having an amazing day. This one second. Let me just do a lip check. You know what always happens? I edit the video and I realize, girl, you got like lipstick on your teeth and it's not that flattering, so you have to make sure. So I hope you're all having an amazing day. I hope you're enjoying 2018 so far. It's only been a few days, but it's so exciting. I'm so excited for this new year. So today's look is like a very natural makeup look. I would say it's very model kind of inspired, like editorial makeup, like with the fluffy brows, the very smoked out like eyeshadow, um, the natural lashes, the glowy AF skin. So this like makeup look is very skin focused guys. I really focus on like the skin, how to get really glowy skin, dewy, luminous skin, even if you're quite oily like me. I find that for me this really helps me look glowy and dewy. Without the oils, which we don't want, just to kind of create a natural finish to the skin, because we can. I can tend to like, cause like sometimes when I walk out of the house, I go, "Holy crackers!" My face is like caked on with like powder, and it just doesn't look that good. I don't like the powder, but small creams and things, I find it just such, has such a natural finish. So this is like my modelly, minimalistic, summertime glowy skin makeup, summer goddess, I guess we could say. Summer Brights makeup. I don't know. I don't know what to call it yet. I hope you guys enjoy this journey with me creating this makeup look. It's a very chatty one. Oh, I can't get over my decklish yet. Like, look at these shoulders. Pow. Pow. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do. And subscribe down to my YouTube fam. I would love to see you in my next video. Alright. No more rambling from me. I'll let you guys go into the video. I hope you enjoy. Bye. Hey guys. So... Like I said in the intro, it's going to be kind of like a simple, like, model kind of makeup to start off the year. Like, something you wear every day. It's not heavy. It's not thick. It's kind of skin-focused. And as you can see, I have a nice big pimple right there, like, saying hello. So I thought I'd start off with the base. Thy base. So I'm first going to take my Puta Healing Hydrating Face and Body Cream. And I'm going to apply this all over my face and also down my neck and on my chest because I like to make sure that it's all hydrated, keep my skin looking young, plump, and fresh. And guys, this stuff smells so good. And I always, when I'm doing my chest and stuff, I always like to wipe upwards, because pulling down the skin is just going to age your skin more and stretch it. So I like to build the habits early, these good habits early. So guys, it's 2018! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this year. I have big plans, big plans. For like travel for this channel like I do want to go like I've been saying this last year I want to go more um natural makeup like this cream that I'm using right now is 100% natural and it smells flipping amazing guys I like to just do my lips as well to moisten them so as I was saying I want to move towards a more natural makeup channel so where I could do really awesome makeup looks and stuff still, that's not going to change. I just want to do it with more natural products so I can actually give you guys the option if you want to to use, like get the same, like get, create the same effect but with more natural products and see if they last, if they don't. Like I want to try out more products that are natural so that you guys have the option to wear healthy makeup for your skin, stuff that's not hard, like chem chemical ridden, that's not going to damage your skin long term. It's going to like help benefit your skin because if we're make wearing makeup for hours and hours, hours and hours to beautify our skin, like to make it look better, but really underneath, you know, it could be acne ridden, it could be pimples like mine, it just could be imperfections. You might as well just be benefiting your skin while you're wearing it. That's my logic, anyways. I feel like we can feel beautiful and still be putting really good stuff on our skin. But yeah, that's kind of like the movement I want to move towards this year. So yeah. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> moving on. So guys, you've heard me talk about this all the time. Like, I love this primer. And I know I have moisturized. That's kind of like my primer. But I want to use a bit of this just because it helps kind of create an even base. And because I am going to be using minimal amount of makeup, 
Like, it's not going to be a full coverage look. I want my base to be as perfected as possible. So I'm going to go in with this and just apply a small amount to the center of my face and where I feel like I need it. So as you can see, my skin is like more evenly toned and like it just looks airbrushed. Like in real life, even on the camera, it just looks so smooth. It's so good. So next I'm moving on to foundation. So I'm going to take my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer in the shade 04 Medium Beige. And the reason why I've taken this one this oh, this foundation is because it is like a medium coverage you can build it up to be full coverage it's real, a medium coverage it'll cover like you know most of my breakouts and things I'm not really fussed about them I personally like makeup looks especially daytime where the you can see all your little imperfections so you have breakouts and stuff like I like that look I remember when I had acne though, I hated it, I absolutely hated my imperfections showing through uh, and I just wanted to cover them up. So like it's different stages I think. Since my skin's really cleared up, I don't mind the odd pimple or two because it's nothing compared to what I had before. So I like to let, you know, my, my, my couple of pimples show through, my freckles, sunspots, whatever you call them. I like to have those kind of peeking through. I find it a very youthful look as well. So really what I use foundation for, if it's like a daytime look, even daytime glam look, I'll just do like a medium coverage to just kind of, or even like sheer coverage sometimes, depending how good a skin day I'm having. <laughs> but I'll do it um, just to kind of even out the tone of my skin. Basically that's what I use it for. So I've kind of told you what my new resolution resolutions are guys, you know, starting up my channel, like, I'm not starting up, like, more like just bringing that natural side of makeup, like, my natural side of beauty to it. So that's kind of my resolution for the year. What's your new year's resolutions, guys? Like, what do you want out of this year? What do you want, what goals do you want to achieve? Or dreams you have, or little things you want to do? Let me know. I like. I'm very. In, I'm very intrigued and interested in what you guys want to get out of 2018. Maybe it might just be a relaxed year where you just study or work, see friends. Even if they're like small goals, like go on a weekend away or something like. I love to hear. So let me know. Hit me up in the comments below and let me know. Let your girl know. <laughs> let me guys just zoom you in. I might even just zoom you in on my face to see like where you guys can see that kind of the coverage I've got going. So it's kind of just like a very light layer. It's nothing too crazy. So you can even just oh, I'm actually missed a spot. Let me just get let me just hit that up. But like it's pretty much just a sheer a sheer coverage. Very I guess just yeah, it's not really a lot because it's more I'm going for that more model look. Oops, that was my mirror. Okay. So once it's all blended in nicely, we're going to go in with concealer. I'm going to use two concealers today. One to brighten under the eyes and like center of the face. And this one I'm going to use to kind of help this mesh into my skin more seamlessly. Because it's quite bright, I'm going to use my medium beige concealer to kind of help create a gradient into the skin so it looks more natural, more seamless, more airbrushed, all that good stuff. Okay, honey? Okay. So first of all I'm taking my LA Pro Conceal in Creamy Beige and placing this under the eyes and the center of the face. I'll also prime my lids with it as well. And then taking my Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Wayne, I'm going to apply this just below like where we placed the LA Girl one, like under my eyes and around on my forehead and chin and stuff. I won't bother on the nose, I want to keep it highlighted. And because it's slightly lighter as well, I'm just kind of kind of slightly contourish with it. You know what, I even, might even place some of LA Girl there as well. And then taking my Sigma Taper Kabuki F86 brush, I'm just going to blend all that concealer out. Honeybee, always bringing it up towards the temples on an upward angle to lift thy face. I am being quite quick um, to blend all that conceal in because it will set. I'm not so bothered with the contour of the nose. 
more so with the under eyes and like forehead and stuff. I like to kind of leave it on the nose and stuff and like contour. I left it last because it kind of helps it um set a bit so when you do blend it in it doesn't blend out to the sides. It kind of keeps that shape, that straight line to kind of keep the nose looking straight and highlighted a bit. Same with under the contour. Okay, so with like subtle, more natural makeup, I always like to use creams and things rather than powders. I'll really only use like powder to intensify something or to set it on my face because I feel like the creams and liquids and stuff make, like, it just looks more like skin than a powder does. So I try to use more minimal makeup, like more minimal powder, more minimal kind of stuff and stick to the cream contours, cream highlights, like you know, liquid foundations, all that kind of stuff. Although, I don't really use powder foundation, so let's be real. It's more just liquid. Okay, so for cream contouring, kind of bronzing kind of thing, contour actually, because this is cool tone, I'm going to go with my AC on tour, sorry, I'm trying to read it off the screen, on tour contouring and highlight king, highlighting cream kit. Anyway, it's just a cream contour palette from Australis. I'm going to use that deepest brown shade from the palette to kind of contour thy face. And I'm going in on a Eco Tools foundation brush. And then just like to blend it out, I'm going in with my beauty sponge from Chi Chi. And just using pouncing motion. So that's important not to swipe because you're just going to disturb all that um, foundation underneath and I always make sure to pounce like upwards when I get to the cheekbone so I'm not swiping per se but I'm kind of pouncing up I don't know just so that it doesn't go down and lose that structure and guys I swear this cream concealer is not concealer sorry contour is so good like it blends out like a dream it's so easy and it's so affordable too. I feel like most of the stuff I'm using in this video are drugstore anyways. But do you guys just see how naturally that like creates that contour on the face? It's so natural. Cream contouring is so natural. It's such a lovely finish to the skin. Now I do have this like LA Girl Velvet Bronze Contour Stick. But like... I used it once and it didn't really show up, so I don't know if you have to warm the product up on the back of your hand or not. I did get it when I was a bit more paler, so I don't know how it's even going to show up now. Let's just try it out. Like, Look on the back of my hand, right there. It's like a pretty bit of a shimmer, it's really pretty. So I'll use this to kind of get a bit of like a, I guess a goddessy glow to this look, because I want to more, like I said, a very youthful model makeup. I'm just saying model makeup because it's quite a natural, like, finish to the skin. It's not heavy or cakey or anything. So I'm just going to apply this just on the high points. Yeah, oh, actually, it's pretty. Oh, why didn't you do it like this last time? Ooh. I know, when I bought it, I thought it was going to be like an actual bronzer stick. It's like a glowy. It's glow. It's like a glow, yeah. It's not a lot of pigment. It's just kind of like a glow. I'll blend it in, of course. I might even just pat it in with my finger. I don't really want to go in with my sponge because it'll kind of take away. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, guys, so I'm going to continue the glow and I'm going to go in with my Master Strobing Liquid from Maybelline. It's an illuminating highlighter in the shade Light Iridescent. And because I've already got that glow going on, guys, I think I might just apply this to the very high points of my cheeks. Let's put some on the tip of the nose as well. And I love to just always go go absolutely crazy with Cupid, the Cupid, so. And I do want to do my bridge, actually, as well, so. I'll put some on my bridge as well. There we go, I feel like that's good with the glow. Pretty, pretty set with the glow. So I like to use like either or. 
So usually, like you see me in all my videos, basically, I use either the Fit Me one or the Eclipse one. I kind of find the Fit Me one, though, I don't know, I find it works best for, like, long wear. It doesn't do the blurring of the pores as much, though, like my Eclipse one does, because it's a blur powder. But I will use my Fit Me one in 135, so it's a bit of a highlight as well, because it's a lighter shade. So then I just grab some of that Fit Me powder. And I press the powder under the eyes. I'll also set my lids, so I go pretty, I go pretty crazy with the um, powder on the lids, because doing it like this literally will set it all day. Like I get greasy lids. I've done this on clients who get greasy lids as well, and it literally stays. They've told me that. The eyeshadow has remained amazing throughout the day, night, event, whatever they've gone to. And I also place it anywhere that I can tend to get any like any parts of my face that can tend to break up the makeup can cake up or fade. I literally just do a light dusting, like a light little bit, not as crazy as around the eyes. I can tend to fade around here. Plus it kind of works because it's a highlighting powder so it kind of helps accentuate that contour as well. I hope this video is not too long with me just chatterboxing away. I feel like I always try to make the videos short so they're not too long and boring for you guys but they always end up being long. Sorry guys. And I do have to do the center of my forehead no matter like what because that will get really greasy. But like I said it's a light dusting of it, nothing crazy. And because I've pressed that powder into the skin, it should stay. It should be good all day, honey. To help lock that product in place, like all these products that we've used, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. It just helps give a skin-like finish to the makeup look. And you know, before we move on, I actually want to place some of that Master Strobing Liquid on my Dick Lachet. Glow up those shoulders. <laughs> Next for the brows. So I've actually done like a different technique recently. Like I know the soap brow thing's kind of passed its peak, it's moved on, but I didn't do it then. Like I, I don't know, I just didn't really like the fluffy brow. But I'm doing it today. So I'm kind of just going to whiz through it. Like I'm not going to go too crazy on it. So I'm just kind of going to like dampen my spoolie. Run my spoolie through it. And I'm just brushing them up. Because like I said, I want a nice fluffy, fluffy brow. And this is definitely like the editorial kind of makeup look. Okay, so I let it dry a little bit before I go in with my brow pencil. Otherwise it could kind of go streaky and chunky and none of that kind of good stuff. So I just let it, let it set for like a minute. Oh guys, it's like my new favourite song. Wait for the next, wait for the chorus. Sorry guys, I just had to show you that because it's been my jam. I've had a few jams lately, but like that, I just feel like it resonates so well with me because like just kind of like, especially this year, I want to kind of of course chase opportunities and create opportunities but I don't need to control everything. I don't like I'm like kind of that kind of person but in my head I always feel kind of tense because I do get anxiety and things because I feel like I need to be control of the situation but really just like let it flow, let it happen. I've been listening to like a lot of Carl Cease videos. He's incredible. He really just helps because I'm a very big believer in um Connecting with the universe, like through like the universe and the energy and things. I know a lot of people aren't, and that's okay. But that's just me. That's where my spiritual connection is, and I just feel like spirituality and meditation, everything, is so important through our lives. And I'm going to incorporate that. That's another resolution I have: is to really incorporate more meditation into my daily routine, like. Wake up, meditate, look over my goals, my affirmations, 
get in the right headspace for the day. So I really do believe it's very important to connect with ourselves, with the energy of the universe. So you know how like a radio puts like, when you listen to a radio, radio it's on like a certain frequency? It's kind of like that with the universe, like we put out a certain frequency, whether it's negative, positive, you know, whatever it may be, our awareness, like what our awareness is, and if we're not aware, we're not on the same frequency as like the opportunity that we're chasing or like the people that we want to be around, we're not going to attract that. So you've got to be putting good stuff in here in your mind to raise your awareness up of opportunities out there, of what you want, of the people that you want to be with. So if we're gaining control of our thoughts, it helps control our emotions and our language. So it's very important to be very aware of ourselves and what we're putting out there. If you're not putting out the right radio frequency, you're not going to get in, you're not going to be able to pick up the right opportunities, you're not going to be on that wavelength. I really hope that analogy helped you guys understand where I'm coming from. So with my brows, especially on the ends of it, I want to create like that bushy brow. So I actually it's like draw, oh, let me wind it up. I actually draw like the hairs like a bit thicker, a bit darker coming out of the bottom to mimic those really gorgeous like fluffy brows. I like to kind of work the product into the brow and also brush those hairs up. I still like though to keep like the bottom of the brow at the front a little bit more structured. So it's more just the tail that I go a bit crazy on. <laughs> and guys for brow gel today I'm actually going to go in with my Ardell clear brow gel. I don't really want to use a tinted one today because I still want to keep kind of more natural. And there you go, you've got your like fluffy brows, like girl, digging it. <laughs> okay, so once the brows are done, I'm going to move on to the eyes, I think, and then we can finish off with the rest of the face in a little bit. So I'm actually just going to keep the eyes really, really simple. I think I'll just do like an elongated smoky eye and just use a couple shadows. Um, I do want to kind of keep it more neutral, so I might just start off with... A transition color. I'll mix these two transitions and on a 228 brush from Zoeva I'm just kind of creating a, a bit of shadow, a bit of something to blend in the deeper colors into. And like literally you can just see me just going crazy. I'm just whacking these two shades on the outer corner. I'm definitely keeping all the shadows focused on the outer corner of the eye today. So I'm just dragging whatever's left towards the inner but I'm just focusing on the outer crease, dragging it out towards the tail of my brow so it's always on the upward angle to lift the face. Next on a 221 brush from Zoeva, just a soft crease brush. I'm going to dip into my Zoeva Caramel Melange palette and take alchemy and start soft. I'm just taking it through my outer corner and through the crease again like I did with those transition shades and then I'm just kind of also bringing it down below and connecting it up to that that wing and keeping it focused on the outer corner. Because I want to deepen out the outer, cor the outer corner just slightly I'm going to take edible gem. It's slightly uh, shimmery and I'm going to place this on my outer corner. I don't think I'll bother bringing it on to my bottom lash line. I'll see. I don't think I will. I just kind of like it on the top. And this is a petite um, crease brush from Zoeva as well. Now, I don't know how this next step will go. Like, I don't know if I should just leave it with like no shimmer or not. But because this is like a model look, I just feel like it, it's very bronzy. I think I've turned it into quite a glowy skin bronzy look even though I haven't hit the bronzy yet like when we do it's gonna be bronzy like bronzy anyways but I'm going to take liquid center with just my finger I'm just gonna apply it to my lid and then I'm just going back in with those transition colors to soften up the edges oh, I think it's a little bit too orangey now hmm you know what I'm gonna do it guys 
I'm going to take Shimmer Shimmer. I'm just placing it right over top of the previous shimmer shade. Focusing it more on like the center. So I still want some of that orange like that orangey shimmer to peek through, like that bronzy shade, but not so much. Now, because I'm always doing false lashes, I think I might skip it today. And because this is like a minimalistic makeup look, like it's model makeup, I always they don't really do a lot of attention on the lashes. It's always like brows, smoked out shadow to like highlight the features. Lashes are kind of lost amongst it. And I just I really like that look where your lashes aren't the statement of the look, it's usually your cheekbones, the brows, the smoked out shadow, you know what I mean? So I'm going to do the you do, do. I'm going to take the Colossal Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline. And I'm just going to apply this, oh that's a nice little clump right there in my lashes. Lovely, make sure you wipe up the wand. Wipe off the wand. And just because I like how the top lashes are so voluptuous and like because of Colossal Mascara is quite a lengthening, volumizing, blackening mascara, I'm going to use the Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara. But this one's quite good because it's quite an old one so it's not going to apply a lot of product. I'm just going to do like a little bit on my bottom lashes because I want the top lashes to be the feature so that the lashes aren't lost on the bottom but they're not the focus. And that's the eyes. So easy. Done. The main thing I want to focus on is bronzing, so I'm taking my Barbados Babe Miscellin Bronzer, like it's in the shade Barbados Babe, and I'm applying this to the like the perimeters of my face, because I want to bronze the skin, I want to give it a lot of warmth, but I'm not going to go crazy because, like I said, it's minimalistic makeup, you want to look natural. That's like the whole point of this makeup look, I think, besides the eyes, but like, it's more... The skin is focused on looking natural. I guess that's what I've been trying to get at. So I'm going to bronze where we contoured to dimension, give dimension to the face and also warm it up. And also slightly bronze the body. And kind of just set the jawline, not so much bronze, just kind of set it in place. For like a little bit of highlight like not a lot I'm not gonna do it everywhere because I've already got the creams and like I said before at the beginning you don't want to have powders everywhere just crazy because that's when it can not look realistic so for highlight today I'm going to take my wild and radiant BH cosmetics palette and I'm just going to take this gorgeous golden shade this stuff's really pigmented guys so start slow and I'm lightly just dusting it on the high points. I might even mix a couple of the shades together if I feel like it. But really it's just like a light dusting. So it sets that cream in place. It's not really to add anything too much more to the glow of the skin. Because I forgot to before, I'm going to apply like a brow bone highlight. And I'm going to grab Shimmer Shimmer for that one. And apply that to thy brow bone. And then to set it all, I went in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. For lipstick, I'm kind of going to give it like more of a lip stain. So first of all, I'm going in with this Zoeva Pure Velours Liquid Lipstick in Matte Chat. And I'm actually just going to apply it to the very centre of my lips, like I've eaten a berry or something. And then next, I apply this Urban Decay Revolution like Lip Gloss in Punk Drunk. A punch trunk. <gasps> it's kind of like a summer brights kind of makeup, like lipstick look. I actually really like it, especially paired with that matte chat, like in the center. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. So, guys, this completes the makeup look for today. This summer brights model, minimal, like minimal makeup, glowy skin look. But if you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me, hun. That really, actually really helps me out because then I know what tutorials you guys like to see. Especially your beautiful comments are just so sweet. Like, they really hit me in the feels. They're so nice. Thank you for your beautiful words of comfort and wisdom and support and everything like that. I really appreciate it. Otherwise, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Have an amazing week and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.